Hello guys, welcome back to AS Learning. So in this video, we will see the interview experience with TCS company and the experience required was around 6 to 7 years. So interview was mainly based on Java and some questions on the Spring Boot. So let's start. So first question was which all collections you have worked on. So for this question, you can just mention about the collections like set, uh, then we have a uh, hash map and uh, then uh, error list, link list. So whatever you have used in your project, just mention that part and one one example for each uh, such that uh, for what purpose you have used this collection and why you have preferred this collection over other. So you can just mention about this point. Next question is array versus array list. So array is like fixed kind of structure where you are, uh, uh, where you know that uh, this many records or this many number of elements will be only uh, getting stored in the array. But when you are not aware about the size of the records or response object, uh, how much record you will get at the runtime, then you should go with the array list because it is a, a form of dynamic array only. And one more advantage of array list over array is that it can hold or store the any type of uh, data type objects. Then next question was difference between array list and linked list. So basically this was asked uh, in the way that when to use array list and when to use linked list. So array list first of all uses dynamic array uh, structure and whereas linked list uses the double linked list uh, data structure. So and the main purpose of uh, when we, we when we should go with the array list is that if we have more search operation rather than inserting and deleting, uh, then we can use a array list in that purpose. But whereas if we have more insert and deletion operation rather than searching or uh, traversing, then you should go with the linked list. And there are other differences also, so just go through it. Next is what is completable future. So completable future was introduced in Java 8 and it helps us uh, to achieve the concurrency and asynchronous nature within our application. So suppose you have two processes like process A and process B and whereas process A is parent process and process B is child of parent A, sorry uh, process A and your process A is not depending on the output or the response which you are getting from process B. Then instead of running synchronously both of the process, you can run asynchronously process B without waiting for the process B operation to be completed and holding your process A also because of that. So in this way you can run asynchronously many processes and in the end you can just take the output of or merge the all the uh, futures object and you can use in the main uh, process. And there are lots of methods like uh, supply async, run async, then accept, then compose. So you can just go through it once uh, for all of the methods. So next question was also based on the completable future only. Uh, so interviewer asked me to write a program uh, for producer consumer problem using completable future. So just try it once and use the completable future methods like run, run async, supply async, then compose. And if you want me to uh, make a video on this question, then please uh, mention in the comment section. I will create one. Next question was based on the coding uh, question. So I was given some, uh, one a string that is apple and in the form of like lowercase and uppercase. So interviewer wanted me to uh, convert all the lowercase into uppercase and all the uppercase to lowercase like uh, like a reverse way. So uh, I just try this once. Uh, one hint I will give that you can use the character dot is uppercase or character dot is lowercase method which was introduced in uh, uh, newer Java versions and with the help of that you can solve this problem. Next two questions were based on the Java stream API where uh, in the first question I was given the list which contains fruit names and if you notice the fruit names uh, have a first letter uh, like a three fruit name have a first letter as a uppercase and two with the lowercase. So in using stream API I have to do two operations. Uh, the first one that filter fruit name which has first letter as uppercase this is first and second I will have to find uh, the largest name within the filter result. So if you see uh, the apple, banana and orange will give the uh, should be the output of my first operation that is filter fruit name which which has first letter as uppercase and out of those three uh, fruit uh, I should get the largest uh, name with having a more uh, number of characters. So here banana and orange I, I should get in the final output. 
so just try this question using stream api you can use the filter and also you can uh, use the method which i uh, told in the previous question that character is uppercase or lowercase or if there is any other way uh, by with with the help of which you are able to solve this problem then just uh, please mention that solution in the comment section next question was based on the life cycle of the thread so you can just mention our that whenever new thread is created uh, when we call the start method after the creation it will go into the runnable state and once it goes to runnable state it can go either in dead running or dead or running state if we are running uh, the thread by using run method then it will go in the running state and if we stop then it will go in the dead state and after running state you can have multiple methods like uh, sleep wait suspend and if this methods get called then it will go into the block state and again when any thread notify or call the resume method then again it will come into the runnable state so this is how the life cycle of thread works next question was based on like spring boot which all annotations you have used in the spring boot or in the project so you can mention about all of the annotation you know or which you have used or which you already know but never worked on like uh, we have first of all we uh, you can start with the adderet spring boot application annotation then we have enable auto configuration component and there are some stereo uh, stereo types annotation like a serve, at direct service at repository at controller at race controller you can mention all the difference between race controller controller and all the annotations which you have worked on uh, you can just highlight one one uh, point about each of the annotations and last question was also based on spring boot and rest api that uh, he was asking me to uh, give a high level design for to do application using uh, rest api so he was ex expecting me like uh, what endpoints you will create like uh, what will be the gate put post endpoint and how will you uh, create the endpoints and uh, like uh, give the high level uh, design so here you can use the uh, post or the put mapping method so that uh, whenever you are writing any to do uh, list uh, to do item uh, for the daily list you can add it by using the uh, post method and if you want to update the whatever the to do item you have already added into the database or uh, sorry application then you, if you want to update that you can use the put endpoint and uh, for fetching the all the to do list item for the day you can use the gate endpoint and what uh, means a service layer uh, repository how will you create that he was expecting me to answer so just um, uh, prepare about the uh, to uh, like uh, many scenario based uh, question uh, high level design of a scenario based question yeah so that's all uh, for this video please subscribe to our channel and we will be creating more interview experience questions uh, based on java spring boot microservice and sql yeah thank you for watching